All right, I got to talk to everybody. Finally, I'm going to talk to the main two people oh, here. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you get that? Okay, he got that. Okay, now we're good. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, introduce yourselves, guys. No way. Uh, anyway, I'm with the Witness Protection Program, so I my new name is uh, Terry T-Bone Rhodes. I am the director of uh, the film White Slavery. I'm so excited to work this with this fantastic executive producer that we have here, Michael Markovina. Uh, we've got such a great DP in Constantine. We've had some auditions, and my God, we've got some really great talent. And so, uh, you know, I'm in director's heaven right now. My name is Mark Michael Markovina. I'm the executive producer for White Slavery, and everything that he said, I back. <laughs> and I approve at this point right yes. now. We're gonna, we'll let that go out to the news crews. Uh, yeah, really excited about the film. It is a true story. Um, about the lives of uh, four people who used to live here in the park. Um, actually had one of the real life characters uh, revisit this park about three days ago. And through the picture, when I was looking at her picture on a close up, I could still see that she's still using because of the track marks that were still on her arm. Um, this is a problem that's going on in Sarasota and Manatee County with the drug overdoses and the heroin overdoses that are happening. Matter of fact, Manatee County is the number one in the state of Florida for heroin overdoses uh, per demographic, that is per population, of the amount of overdoses that are happening. Uh, 176 was last year, and they've already reached a record number this year. So we need to get this film made so we can get the word out and we can help some people because some of the proceeds from this film is going to be going to uh, either one of the re local rehabilitation houses here in Sarasota. We're not sure which one. Uh, we're still in negotiations with them. So. Um, stay tuned and uh, let's make a movie. Any last words for Sarasota? Yeah, you know, the people say, well, why white slavery? And, uh, you know, it, has, it has, has several connotations. First of all, white slavery is considered prostitution. That's, that's a term for prostitution. But in addition to that, uh, most of the people that uh, are in this film, the, the, the base of the premise of this film is that they are addicted to something that's white, whether it be cocaine, whether it be heroin, whether it be a white female, um, it's you know it's, it has several connotations, and so you know we, we're going to it's going to be a pretty deep and dark and gritty film, but it's something that needs to be told just based on what Michael was saying. This 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 epidemic is out of control. There's so I just found out about huffing the other day, where people are, are inhaling uh, the stuff that you clean your computer screens with. So our our drug uh, problem is is really out of control. And then when you go to start talking about getting help for it. I mean, the help is almost non-existent, you know? And, you know, who chooses to be a prostitute? Yeah, they don't wake up one morning <laughs> well, and say, just say, I'm gonna be hey, a prostitute I want to be a prostitute today. today. I want to be a you drug dealer You know what I mean? Today. It's usually based on trying to uh, uh, pay for your habit, you know, support your habit. And then, again, when you told to try to go get help, you know, you got all these different stipulations. You got to be on, uh, you know, out of, uh, on the street for 60 days or whatever the all the things and so you got so many people turned away and what do they do they just got to go back out on the street and continue so it's just like this vicious cycle and 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 these are all normal people now these are all people they you know they get mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and you know they didn't choose this life it kind of chose them and and, and it, it becomes their norm and it's a really sad scenario and i, I think this picture is going to going to really kind of show how, how deep and that, that how big this problem is. And so I'm excited about the opportunity to direct it. I hope that I, I give the, the, the script that, that we're co-writing the, the, you know, the credit and all that it deserves because it's a story that needs to be told. Yeah, we're gonna show the underbelly of Sarasota, what, what goes on behind the rich neighborhoods and the people that are suffering um, you know, with this drug, not only heroin, but you know, cocaine, crack is the, is the largest drug that the girls actually use both. They try to get a medium of a high. They use the heroin to bring themselves down because they don't like what they're doing. But then they get so far down that they, they have to use the crack cocaine to get bring themselves back up. So it's like they're still normal, but the drugs are masking their true feelings of, you know, not wanting to see ten guys in a day, fifteen guys in a day, five days a week to support their habit. And this film is going to bring light to that situation. And you know, there's a pill situation as well. You know, uh, Dilaudid's. the Dilaudids and and oxycontins and oxycodones and roxies, all these different things that these people are taking. It's an opiate, you know. And so what happened with that is that it got so expensive. 
uh, that people then started going back to heroin because heroin got more potent but less expensive. And so it's just this really vicious cycle of drug use and abuse and, and, and trying to support the habit. Uh, guys, you know, we're talking about prostitution, but guys, the, the, what guys normally do is they go out and they rob or they burglarize or, you know, they don't necessarily prostitute them, though we do show some male prostitution some, yeah, in, yeah. This, in the film. So it's a, it's, it's a big, broad subject. It affects everybody. Everybody's been affected by it one way or another. Somebody's died. Your house has been broken into. Some, some, some way or another, lives are affected. And that's the other side that we want to show. There's some, there's some people on the other side of this thing that are affected. Mothers that are crying because they're losing their children and, and, and children that are losing their mothers. It's, it's, uh, again, I, it, I'm, I'm full of, of passion for this, and I really want to make a great film. All right, great. Thanks.